Right now you can see on your screen some alphabets and some numerical values. Whenever you purchase an original sunglasses, original shades or original spectacles, did you notice these numerical values or alphabets that what does it mean? So in this video we are going to learn that why these alphabets, why these numerical values are there on your original sunglasses or original shades. So here are some original spectacles. We can pick one of them. And now we'll study that why these values are there on every original spectacles or sunglasses. So we have Emporio Armani original article, which is my personal favorite. And now we'll study that why these values are there. So these are, you can see EA3175, 5001, these values. So what does it mean? So now, what is this EA3175, 5001? Let's put these values on Google and let's check it out. These values, that what Google say about these values. So let's it's EA3175501. And here we go. So we got the same Emporio or Money article, which is model number 3175. So here, these are some pictures of the same article of Emporio Armani. And you can see pictures in different angles. And you can see the same model number EA3175 of Emporio Armani. As you can see, the 5001 is actually the color code of the spectacles. You can see the black matte color of the Emporio Armani. Now, 56. So, 566 is actually the widest part of the lens from superior nasal to inferior temporal. Now, why this 18 is there? So at 18 is actually, this value is actually, it means this 18 is actually the nose bridge of this frame, right? This nose bridge, right? Now this 145 is actually the value of the measurement of the side arm, this one, 145 millimeter, right? Now let's start more details about these values which are mentioned on the side of the frame or the spectacles. So again, this 56, we will measure with the scale. So as I said, this 56 is actually the widest part of the lens. So let's see, is it true or not? Yes, as you can see, this is the widest part is actually 56 millimeter. Now it's clear, you can see. This is 56 millimeter. Now, this uh, 18, this one, this is measurement of the nose bridge. And as you can see, this is exactly 18 millimeter, right? And now finally, this 145. So let's measure that the side arm, the length of the side arm is at actually 140 millimeter or not so let me focus so yes it's exactly 140 millimeter so again we have original sunglasses which is very beautiful this is of beautiful brand Burberry yes this is Burberry and now let's start the same procedure with the original sunglasses. So first of all, as you can see, this is B4327, 3001 over 11. This 3001 is actually the frame color and this 11 is actually the color of the lens. So as you can see, the color of the lens. So let's right on the Google so this is the same model as you can see Burberry BE4327 
we have different links over here we can click on one link and here we got the same sun shades of Burberry right we have different pictures in different angles you can see this is the same article of the Burberry the same model, model number Now this 11 is actually the color of the lens right now this 51 the widest part you know very well this is 51 here it is this is 51 the widest part of the lens and now again the value is of 23 if I can zoom it this 23 millimeter is actually the size of the nose bridge so let me measure that this value is 23 or not yes you can see this is 23 exactly 23 mm right and now finally if I can make it clear come closer to me so this is 140 so the length of the yes side arm should be 140 here we go so this is 140 millimeter as you can see every single measurements are the same as mentioned on the original sunglasses or original frames so I hope this video is useful for you. We'll see you in the next video.